In this demonstration we're going to have a look at Resource Monitor. Now Resource Monitor is something we get in Windows 7 and it does exactly what it suggested it does. It allows me to monitor my CPU, disk, network and memory statistics. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to click on our Start menu. We're just going to type in Res and we're going to come to our Resource Monitor. And on our Resource Monitor we now have this screen up and running. So what we can see straight away just off this screen here, we can monitor our CPU, our disk, our network and our memory. So this is ticking along quite nicely. So what we'll do now is if we have a look, we can see currently we've got CPU, so we can see what's happening with the CPU. We've got disk, so we can have a look what's happening on the disk. We can see what processes are using the disk. We can have a look at the network, so we can have a look at exactly the same thing on the network. And if we scroll it down, we've also got memory, so we can have a look at memory statistics as well. So that's some of the information that we get here. What we can also do as well, so this is the overview screen. If we click on the CPU tab, we can have a look specifically at CPU. We can have a look at the services, have a look at any handlers, and we can also have a look at any modules as well. If we have a look at memory, we can get some information about memory. So in use, we can currently see the memory in use. We can see what we've got free. So this is, this is actually quite good. And I do have free memory available. I've got my standby memory there as well. If we have a look at disk, we can have a look at what's happening on the disk. We can have a look at the disk activity. If we have a look at the storage, we can get information about the storage as well. If we then have a look at the network, we can get our network activity, have a look at TCP connections. And if we scroll down, we can have a look at the listening ports as well. So as you can see, we can get quite a bit of information out of System Resource Monitor. It's up to you to decide how you're going to utilize this utility, but it is a useful utility. I would be looking for things like storage, network, disk, and CPU utilization on a machine to start really troubleshooting. And that's the end of this demonstration. Thanks very much.